there's something systemically wrong with this company. It operates in the shadows. Everybody in this country should rise up against this company because they're just going to bully our, our country and our government into putting more stringent laws on immigration so that they profit. They're going to make money out of lives. They're going to make money out of people. Because how CCA works is that they get money per detainee. Everybody's making money off, off, off these, these folks who are looking for a better life, whether it's the private prison companies, whether it's an expanded ICE and federal government. They want to keep them in this prison. That's how they make their money. They need to fill beds. This is not being driven by good public policy. It's being driven by the need for profits of a private corporation that makes its money from housing people in, in detention facilities. They will build it and then they will seek to influence public policy to fill it. With all the human rights violations that CCA has, has done, that they should not get one dime of our federal tax dollars. When ICE and CCA came down here, supposedly to meet with the residents, 98% were against this person. Only one gentleman stood up and said supported. One out of the 200 people. I began to question our town officials and I was told that there was a cone of silence in place and that they could not talk about it. I've called on Debbie Wasserman Schultz's office to put this in, in the sunshine as well because it's not happening. We didn't even meet with her because she doesn't even come here to say, okay, let me meet with my constituents, let me meet with my, my residents to talk about this. And Debbie Wasserman Schultz, along with Senator Bill Nelson, had co-signed a letter of endorsement for this facility. And I find that absolutely inconceivable that both of those individuals would facilitate secure communities by building one of the largest deportation centers in the country in our own own backyard only for money. I mean it's evident that we're not supporting this person. The politicians are supporting this. They keep saying and they keep announcing that the residents supporting this. How can they say that if 98% were against it? Definitely. 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 No. <laughs> absolutely. This is absolutely wrong. All we can do is fight and, and just keep on pushing ahead and in any way we can try to block this facility from um, being built. Residents of Southwest Ranchers are angry and growing increasingly vocal. The reason for their IRA are plans to build a huge immigrant detention center close to their homes, schools and businesses. We have a gift for CCA, and that is a traditional bag of coal which represents bad behavior. The residents of Southwest Ranches in Pembroke Pines and Weston would like the Congresswoman to change her heart about her support for the prisons. We'll never see true immigration reform if we just create, create these facilities to lock people up. And the whole human element of it is, is really gone. Um, it's, it's, it's not under discussion at all. It's, it's just something that people are not understanding and not taking into consideration when they build a facility like this.